data centers and clouds are spread across the world. And although Nexus Dashboard Architecture allows you to have cluster nodes in multiple locations, they still have to synchronize between them. In the end, they are a cluster of Kubernetes services. Therefore, having that synchronization happening over large geographical distances might not always be desirable. In addition, depending on your environment, having local high availability for Nexus dashboard services might be a requirement for your organization. With that in mind, and to avoid multiple Nexus dashboard clusters to be separately maintained, Nexus Dashboard supports multi-cluster connectivity, also known as cluster federation. With a multi-cluster connectivity, you can connect multiple clusters together while still having a single pane of glass. This allows you to distribute multiple clusters around the world while centrally managing and monitoring all your sites, services, and configurations. With this configuration, one of the Nexus dashboard cluster becomes the primary one, providing an overview and a status of the entire system. However, each Nexus dashboard cluster can have its own set of sites and work independently. Creating a multi-cluster connectivity is really simple. You just have to go to a Nexus dashboard cluster and add one or more additional clusters. As you do so, a group of clusters is formed. The clusters where you create the group becomes the primary cluster. When using multi-cluster connectivity, there are some rules that need to be followed. You must use the primary cluster to connect all additional clusters. You must use the primary cluster to remove any of the clusters from the group. Establishing multi-cluster connectivity does not create any single database with information from all clusters in the group. Every cluster continues to maintain its own configuration database, while simultaneously being able to function as a proxy for all other clusters in the group, regardless of which cluster an action or request is originated from or destined to. Now, we will follow the two-step procedure to enable multi-cluster connectivity for Nexus Dashboard. Number one, log into the Nexus Dashboard cluster GUI, which you want to designate as primary. Number two, add one or more clusters. Let's start with step one. Log into the Nexus Dashboard GUI of the cluster that you want to become primary. As usual, you are able to see all the information related to this cluster, like the system status, cluster health, sites and services, inventory, and more. Now, let's move to step two. From the main navigation menu, select infrastructure and click on cluster configuration. Then, in the main page, select the multi-cluster connectivity tab and click Connect Cluster. Now, provide the cluster information like host name or IP address and the authentication information for the cluster you are adding. You only need to provide the management IP address of one of the nodes in the target cluster. The remaining nodes in the cluster will be automatically synced after connectivity is established. Keep in mind that the user you provide must have administrative rights on the cluster you are adding. Then, click Save. The user credentials are used only when the primary cluster is first establishing connectivity to the secondary cluster. After initial connectivity is established, all subsequent communications between clusters is done through secure keys. The secure keys I provision to each cluster while adding into the group. The cluster you are adding must not be part of another group of clusters. And that's it. We have our multi-cluster configuration completed. Just for the sake of it, I'll add another cluster to the scenario by repeating the previous steps. The primary level indicates the group's primary cluster. The local level indicates the cluster you logged into. 
This is the cluster whose address is displayed in the browser's URL field. If you navigate to a different cluster as mentioned above, the browser's URL and the local label will not change. When configuring Nexus Dashboard Multicluster Connectivity, you must configure remote authentication through LDAP, TACAX, or RADIUS for all clusters. This is required so that you can access all clusters through a single GUI. If you don't do this and leave each cluster's local credentials, you will only be able to access a single cluster at a time, which is not what the objective of multi-cluster connectivity is. Configuring remote authentication is a very simple process. We only have to access the administrative menu in the authentication option. Next, we create a new login domain. We indicate the name that we will assign to the authentication server. We select an option between LDAP, RADIUS, and TACAX, and we indicate the IP address or name of the server and its corresponding key. And finally, the username and password for validation. This way we register our cluster with the authentication server. This process must be repeated for all the clusters that we want to associate. It is always important to review the Cisco Nexus Dashboard User Guide to check the updates for pre-requirements, guidelines, and limitations to be considered in new releases. Let's now test our remote authentication configuration is working. You now need to log into the Nexus dashboard with the username and password previously defined on the authentication server that is associated with all clusters, and you will see some changes in the user interface. When you first log into a cluster that is part of a cluster group, the cluster name will be displayed here. You can click on the name of the cluster to navigate to and manage a remote cluster that is part of the same group. Through the multi-cluster connectivity dashboard, you can quickly find issues in the cluster, such as connectivity loss and more. Note that while you can view and manage your cluster from any member cluster in the group, you can only add and remove clusters from the group from the primary cluster. To change the currently viewed cluster, simply click the cluster name on any of the Nexus dashboard page. As a summary. Nexus Dashboard Multi-Cluster Connectivity allows you to federate multiple clusters while still having a single pane of glass. This can be useful when running across geographical dispersed location or based on your redundancy and design preferences. As of Nexus Dashboard 2.2, you can easily federate up to 4 clusters and view up to 12 sites from a single place. However, this number might increase in the future. Just follow the two simple steps presented in this video and you'll be good to go.